decent swim for me. Um, I mean, not my best day, but kind of what I expected. Um, I actually expected to be a little quicker in the swim, but I was amongst girls that I would expect, with the exception of Daniela. I was very surprised to see her whiz by me at the start of the bike. Um, obviously, she's usually a few minutes up the road. Uh, yeah, big pack of girls came out, and I was sort of at the pointy end of that group, and then ended up riding with some solid cyclists, um, and we caught up to the main group of girls at around Kauai High on the climb up to Harvey. And then I was in unfamiliar territory. Every time I've done this race, I've pretty much had one or two other people. And actually most majority of the times I've done this race, I've just been completely alone. Like no one in front of me, no one behind me, just racing my own race, my own pace. And we caught up to that main pack. There were probably 12 girls in it. And then the group that I was with was five strong or so. And it was like the men's race. And I didn't anticipate that or I mentally hadn't prepared for that and didn't really know how to race with that sort of obstacle I, I guess you want to say there's like 14 girls in a line do you like I mean if you're Daniela you probably just go around and keep going to the front um, but you know I know some of those girls were strong and um, so I kind of sat on the back for a little bit at the start and that was kind of a mistake as well because then when you're in the back, you're kind of like yo-yoing off and on. There's like pushing a million watts and then soft pedaling, uh, which is really not what you want to do um, in Ironman. Um, so yeah, kind of didn't play that game very well. Uh, I think some of the other girls played the game a lot better. Um, and I, I would have liked to have seen some cards thrown because there was definitely some slotting in that shouldn't have been slotting in. But uh, you know, that's racing and it's all part of the game and I've got to learn how to, how to you know, race better. I was talking to my husband, obviously he's been racing the men's race, which is that scenario every single year. And he sort of told me how you, you take over other athletes in aid stations because there's inevitable gaps opening up or um, different ways to kind of move up in the group. And um, yeah, anyway, rookie mistake, Given even though I'm eight times in <laughs> into, this, into this Ironman adventure, eight times racing here, still learning and yeah, made some mistakes there and then I hopped off the bike still um, in an okay position and I figured if I could have the run that I'm capable of um, or that I've done before, then, you know, podium spot is definitely an option. Uh, but, you know, I ran through the first 10 miles, 12 miles and felt pretty good and then I think the strength endurance was maybe lacking a little bit, um, having a year off and then slowly coming back um, and not forcing it, obviously, I think maybe I had higher expectations than I should have. And um, yeah, I, I raced the best I could and um, a 301 marathon is definitely not <laughs> typical for me, um, but it is what it is and I'm proud with my effort and a fifth place at the World Championships is nothing to be laughed at. I'm trying to be happy with it, but yeah, definitely some things I can work on and be better at. Yeah, the bike, overall was really fast. I don't think I had my best performance on the bike and I think I was 10 minutes faster than I've ever ridden on this course before. So the disc brake bike felt amazing all day. Uh, I really was hoping for some wind. I feel like we would have shone even brighter if there'd been some wind and some um, cross, especially crosswinds because riding that bike in the past eight weeks, I really noticed a big difference going from rim brake to disc brake just with the crosswinds. The bike was less twitchy, I felt more comfortable um, and less um, nervous in the aero bars, um, less likely to you know, pop up onto my hoods and I think that would have definitely been a benefit uh, had it, the wind blown on, on the weekend but um, yeah I mean we'll be here next year and we still have that disc bike to, to race again on this course so we'll see how it fares in a windier condition if we get that next year, who knows. It was so cool to see Izzy at that finish line. Um, yeah, that, that's the probably my favorite moment of the race. Um, as I crossed the finish line, obviously kind of said thank you to the crowd and everyone for cheering and supporting. And then I look over and she's running over and she's throwing her hands up in the air, so excited. That was just the cutest, <laughs> cutest thing. It made my heart melt. So um, yeah, always so great to see that little one's face at the finish line.